Aurora Dairies. Aurora Dairies operates 28 dairy farms with approximately 200 employees. Back in 2018, we had two quad bike incidents and one side-by-side -side incident. Not serious injuries, but injuries that did require surgery. And so we went through a review, I guess, of vehicles on farm. When we consulted with our farm managers and our farm teams, their main concerns in the use of quad bikes as well. It's pretty clear speed and terrain are the leading cause of incidents. And so clearly this technology was able to reduce those risks. We put in what we call a GPS tracking device in our vehicle so we know exactly where our workers are. We know what speed they're doing. We've got what we call geofencing set up on the property. They've got a light on the dash of the motorbike and it flashes at them when they go into a no-go zone and that then sends a message to myself, the manager. Then you can approach that worker and um, have a conversation. There's a little black box under the seat of the motorbike because it's got a micro switch in it. When it rolls over, the micro switch goes off and it triggers a message, you've had a rollover. And they've got a distress button on the motorbike where if they do get stuck, they can push the distress button and, and it alerts you straight away. Beforehand, someone could have been down the back of the paddock, rolled a motorbike on top of themselves, and we wouldn't have known. There's been reduced accidents on quad bikes since we've bring all this stuff in. They're more aware of the safety things that we've got out there. They follow in the guidelines a lot better. They're not putting themselves at risk. Yeah, we have a huge safety culture at Aurora. Our motto is safety first, what's the rush? It generally is the number one priority. Like, safety comes first. This was a pretty big project and the way in which all of the people that were involved worked together, collaborated and, and took responsibility for driving the outcome, incredibly proud of what was achieved. It's unstoppable, you know, we're just going to keep driving it, keep bringing new things in, keep making our workplace safe. Stonyhurst Pastoral Stonyhurst Pastoral. We run a sheep and cattle operation, running about 13,000 odd sheep, which keeps us busy. It's quite a rough and undulated farm, very stony. We used to do everything on horseback, and then they progressed to motorbikes, which poses a fair risk. Using drones on our farms, we decided to give it a go with uh, moving livestock, and it worked way beyond anything that we thought it would do, and it's just totally revolutionised how we move stock and, and run the whole farming operation. I always knew that the technology would catch up one day, that we'd maybe be mustering with these things one day. And as soon as they did, I jumped onto one and, and we haven't looked back since. The reception on this farm isn't very good at all. Who knows what would happen if you fell off the motorbike and hurt yourself down in the gully. You know, I don't know how long it would take for someone to find you. Whereas with the drone, you just, you just, you don't have to worry about any of that. You're at the ute, safe the whole time. I would definitely say I'm less stressed knowing that they're operating much more safely with the drone. I'm really impressed that they've actually pushed for the change and we're lucky that I guess the older generation has been really supportive and seen how efficient the drones are and how much safer things are on the farm as a result. With the drone there's no worry of a physical accident to the boys because Bill is stable at a vantage point and we're not chasing the sheep. Uh, the drone gently brings them in quietly. The sheep love it, we love it. It's very pleasing, a great peace of mind for me personally. It's just shown, you know, how technology is just changing the way of farming and safety. The improvements on this place is just second to none, so I can't see why, you know, other people are, yeah, wouldn't jump on board with it. Valicia Farms. So Valicia Farms is a horticulture business. We've been here in Werribee South for three generations, so about 80 years. I took the business over about four years ago. When I took over the business, I knew there were, there were issues um, around safety, around a lot of different things. One of the things we identified was language barriers. So the older processes of training were really all about um, induction checklists. Somebody sits in a room, they're spoken to, they are asked to tick, yes, I understand, and sign their name on a sheet. How do you know that the person that can't speak English all that well, how do you know they understand 
what the requirements are. What we did is we gave them opportunities to have English lessons and we've created this induction program that we're really quite proud of. Um, it's able to be on a phone, it's able to be on a computer and using pictures and using videos and making toolbox that are relevant to people. It starts bringing everyone into a conversation. Pictures speak a thousand words. By doing this course, I, I broke my fear and I become a more confident to do a more things as well. So obviously we just have less incidences altogether. So that's improved and their leadership capacity improved because of their confidence grew immensely. Obviously with better leadership skills, the workplace and the culture became safer pretty much straight away. What we see for the future of horticulture and safety is there needs to be a step forward. That's what I guess we want to create with this induction program is some real tangible on the ground solutions that make your business better and make people safer as well.